welcome back into the channel for another episode of God of War Ragnarok part who the heck no <laughs> y'all I wanted to quickly just address the last episode was a little lame a little short and I wanted to make it up to you guys so strap in we're gonna ignore that what what are you doing Guys, get your coffee, get your tea, get your energy drink, because it's going to be a long episode, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's go. All right, back at it again. Huh, they've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. Mm -hmm. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf king... I thought all the dark elves were... Yeah. Tear? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Mm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right? Is there a right side? Exactly. <laughs> what do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side? Did you guys just hear that? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. I like that. If you're not educated on it. I know that's how I roll. I feel like that is really good dialogue, though. Because, you know, we did come in here and Atreus just made his assumptions based off of seeing the fights and this whole, like, notion of light versus dark, right? And yet all of the beauty of this place, even now, which it is beautiful, but apparently it comes at a cost, no? The light can have its own corruption. I faintly remember this, right? Yeah, which I know we were going back, you know, I knew we were going back to that um, board that we were at before in the first one, but it looks so different and all the same. I don't know. How could it... I guess plants really... Oh my god, that's what it is. Plants? This is the proof that plants make a huge difference, you guys. Like, look at this. This is why I swear, like, my game room, this room, the more plants I put in it, the more, like, full it looks while still feeling a little bit minimalistic. Like, it doesn't feel crowded. It just feels a little bit more full. I do love a good plant. Faux plants, because your girl can't keep a plant alive to save her life. <laughs> hmm. No pots. Oh, yeah. <gasps> We're going to get to step through it again. Sindri. Oh, did I miss anything? Could have been a shame Slag deposits. Time. Really? If I don't have it, you don't need it. Oh my gosh. Have I don't know how to respond to that. Oh wait, where the there you we are. In fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? That's fair. There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. I respect that. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Oh, it was. Perhaps the light elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Oh, Honestly, for I'm sure. Honestly, I'm puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two year. Very messy. Anyway, <laughs> good luck. I love Sindri, and I know I'm going to say that another 20 times before that it's over, but he's such a spunky character. Oh, armor. Is there a new armor? Oh. The Spalter. The Spalter. Um, of Enlightenment. We're getting increased runic. Decrease in strength, but it looks pretty nice. I actually do like the, like, double shoulders, but I just don't like the constriction of this. Like, this doesn't feel like Kratos. That seems like primal Kratos. Like, one and two. And then I feel like this is more, like, refined. <laughs> Nobody should care this much about the armor that Kratos is wearing. But my only problem is I really do like this waist armor we got. The girdle. I love my girdle. <laughs> For the pure fact that Kratos is wearing a girdle. 
Oh, but that does look nice. Oh, but that does look really nice. My only issue with this game, well, it's not an issue with the game. It's more an issue with myself. I just am too OCD to not have as matching of like things as possible. I am wanting to go for function over fashion. Like I've always done that in the God of War games. I've never cared that much about fashion in games. I want whatever is going to like help me the most for the most part. But those, I mean, those are yellow. Like it just feels, uh, I just don't like it. I do like this chest armor, but I don't feel like I can, like this is a mess. I'm wearing three different types of pieces. Maybe if I did the matching spalder with the wrist armor, with the matching brazers, it wouldn't be as bad. But this actually kind of works because you've got the blue in the left shoulder strap that matches the blue on the girdle. <laughs> and we're one step away from getting the next uh, raven thing. Yeah, let's not do that yet. Oh, and by the way, I realized in my uh, quick exit yesterday or last episode for y'all, I did not level up. So let's level up real quick. <clears throat> mm, there's not a whole lot to level up. Let's go look at Atreus first. Um, oh, I already decided on Atreus's. Did we talk about this already? I want to level up. Wait, stop, stop. I want to level up this one just for the pure fact that I cannot have an incomplete web right here. I can't have this empty spot. I have to complete it. And it's a good one to begin with. But so we need to save up to 2000. Okay. My OCD. It will not allow me to. Hold on. Let me start on this side. Flame whiplash. The I try to pick ones that don't have to be procced um, or that automatically proc. Perform melee attacks in quick succession. Like that. Boom. I like to think that I use different buttons when I'm slashing them, but I typically stick with the normal. Like, I don't think I'm doing combos as much as I used to in the originals. Like, one through three, I did a lot of different combos. Hell yeah. Extend chaotic rampage. Done. Check. While evading, hold back and then press... Didn't we already try to do that with the frozen, like with our axe, and it does not work? It just hasn't worked for me, maybe. Uh, let's look at the axe, because I'm dealing with 7700 right now. Frozen ascent. Press R2 during frost awaken to slash upwards. A chilling wave. I do kind of like that. A little smack down or smack up. Are there any ones that don't need... Brutal attack that throws the enemies to play. Oh, hell yeah. All right, that's holding L2, right? So if we have a group of them, yes, that's some CC too. Love a good crowd control. Mm, let's do freezing throw level two. I have a cat hair like right in the corner of my nose. All right, vengeful sickle. I think that's good for now. I think I see something. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you mm. see this. This was Groa's prediction of Ragnarok. I'll never get over how cool that is. The giants were so clever. It's like the sands of time. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. Mm. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't oh. like what he had, apparently. Imagine looking for your husband and he end up I dead. Would. That's the... I don't know what that is. Nice the save. Mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some mm. giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Gro requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? 
I think it's supposed to be me. You assume too much. I think I it's Kratos. Not to read into these I don't think it would so be Atreus. Boy. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. The sun and moon. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. Thor. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Odin. There must be a way. <gasps> the Why world serpent. Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? What? That's new. One of the realms? Asgard is destroyed? But the rest are alive. But the other realms thrive? That's the champion. And Odin dies. She lied. Oh. oh lied. Of course she did. Good for her. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then we can win Ragnarok. Hmm? We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Oh, wait. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Here. I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. Mm. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. Yeah, Tears VA is incredible. It has such like a magnitude to it. Is that another one of those little orbs, right? Can't stop right to send the light well. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. Mm. There must be another way. That is true. I mean, as much as it sounds like a solution to have all of Asgard Asgard fall apart, I mean there's a whole world there too. And there's probably a lot of people there that don't necessarily support him, like like the dwarves, remember? Like they did it out of necessity, out of the need to stay alive. So, survival what you see a lot Roa lied to Odin Ragnarok isn't the end of everything it's just the end of Asgard just the destruction of an entire realm is it mm -hmm. to say nothing of its citizenry its wildlife those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds enough there's much to discuss once we are safe at home thank you holy do you know how big of a frustration of mine that is? Movies, games, instead of waiting to get to like a safe spot, and okay, granted, not every single spot. Okay, or deep in thought? Okay, I'm deep in thought with, I'm deep in thought, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sindri. Um, the amount of frustration I get when people are like, oh my God, there's a killer right behind us, or there's somebody tracking us down, but let's time out and talk about this situation that we could easily discuss five minutes down the road when we're actually safe and sound. <laughs> Thank you, Kratos. But then we also have the side of Kratos that is actively extending this playthrough by looting everything in existence, but that's only because a loot goblin's controlling the other side of the controller. I don't think Kratos would actually be doing that if that were the case. Nice. Oh, let's try the R2. Uh, except that there's... Oh, sorry. Oh. All right, but that's the new move that we have. Yeah. The new move looks nice. Oh, nice. Hmm. Okay, this is the coolest thing in the world. I love the greenery on the walls. 
Yeah, that doesn't feel so good, does it? Oh wait, quickly double tap L1 to interrupt the attack. Wait, we haven't seen that before. I think those are just updates to the current ALF codexes. They're most likely just telling us how to... Um, maybe more effectively fight them. Bye bye Oh, the cut in half. I love that they just dissipate, too. I've never been a big fan of just, like, the bodies just lying there afterwards. Just something... Mm. Although I will say that, that's something that... <laughs> that is something I've always... Ow, that hurts so much when you get that. Whoa! Hold on, let me finish this guy real quick. Oh, he's already gone. I want to parry him so bad. There we go. Oh, that's what they were telling us to do. <laughs> that ain't bad. Uh, there's something that I missed about the fallout. Okay. This is gonna sound really disgusting, but you can't tell me it wasn't satisfying to like kill somebody in Fallout New Vegas and be able to loot the smallest morsel on their body possible. Like it could be their little gallbladder, but you could still loot everything that was on their body just from that small piece. <laughs> Which Fallout has some brutal animations, but still. How did I not? I'm not targeting it? It's so weird. Kill the nightmare, kill the nightmare, boy. <sighs> okay, that's sick. We need to start using these offensively. I think more are gonna arrive either way. Oh, remember that? Was it golems from 2018? Trolls, golems, golems. Whoa! Uh, thank you, Windows, for whatever just happened. I can go across over there too, but I think I want to stay here. Oh! These things smell awful. Oh! We need to keep moving. <sighs> he's really worked up. Yeah, he's super okay. worked up. I just don't think he's a big fan of finding out that Asgard could die. No matter how he feels about Odin and such, I think he's just not happy with that prediction or result. But one of the things, one of the things I was gonna say was it's not actually accurate to say that we have no. Remember when Kratos said that there is no we in this fight? But when we were in Jotunheim at the end of 2018, I don't think we saw it or even they saw it, but didn't we see Atreus's presence there? We saw something in the prophecy and that's when we found out that they called him Loki. But I thought that they were in fact in the prophecy for Ragnarok, which I think they are the, oh, Alva. Nice. Shit. Mm. Yeah. I can't remember how to proc that one thing. Nice. Let's just use this real quick. Put them in a corner. Kick their face in. That's gonna break that real quick. How do I proc that one thing? Mm. Wait, you can parry one? You can parry one, but not the other. Yeah, not today, Satan. Oh. 
Dude, the ice axe is wrecking against them. Ah, uh, this is getting me so excited for the Valkyrie fights. Ah, oh, there was an AoE. Yeah, no. Knock her back. Finish her with the special. Oh, what is that? I want to say. Oh, is that just. Oh, they're healing. Sorry, that's on me. <laughs> oh. Oh. I kind of like seeing this uh, kind of OG brutality coming back from Kratos. That sounds really messed up. I know. I know how it sounds, but still coming off of playing one through three, you're like, wow, 2018 so mild. I mean, I know he has a son now, but still winters ago, we defeated the dark elf king. It appears in his absence, a new guardian of the temple light was anointed. Her swordsmanship and command of her form was unlike any I have gone up against. She was the aggressor, but once again, Atreus questions if we have helped the wrong side, referring to the struggle between the light and dark elves. The only side we can take in the conflict is our own. Mmm. Mmm. Are, Are you okay? Kratos does hit you with the wisdom. Wait. What are we using right now? Four through three? Ho oh. ho! Ah, I see it now. I see it now. I wasn't looking at the center whenever I was doing this. Grant's cooldown to... This one? Okay, so... Hmm. We would increase vitality and luck, but I like having the cooldown. I like going cooldown run. Oh. He killed... Oh. Dear. It is over. It is far from over. Oh. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. Mm. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. Okay, but would you I rather won't. still be I'm not rotting? I don't it, want to fight. Then he doesn't but have to. Three, there is no avoiding it. Okay, that's true. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Hmm. Oh no! No! Oh no, we're gonna fall! Oh! <gasps> oh shit! The souls. Kratos. Hold on! Over here! Your chase! Fast, fast! No! <laughs> What was the point of that? There had to have been an intention behind that. I actually thought he might have symboled us right there. Like, <laughs> let us go into it. I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Hmm. Oh. 
That same voice. Huh. There has to be more to derive from that scene. I mean, it, maybe it was just to see Tyr save us. Do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. Mm. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are in danger. Thank you, Kratos. This is so cool. The armory. Look at their blades. Oh my gosh, the intricacies on the shields. Wow. Uh, I suspect that it was also just an easy way to cut us down to the like bottom, you know, like get us down as fast as possible without having to fight your way the whole time. Kind of expedited the sequence without, without feeling like tedious of having to like fight your way back through. Cause that can be, I will say. Shit. Ah. My favorite, my favorite group. Yeah. Although this time I feel so much more powerful. I bet you, I bet you it's because I don't think I've ever played on this like medium level. I think I've always either played at the second hardest or the hardest difficulty. Like, give me God of War. Through here. Okay. Yeah, I detest, I will say I detest games where you have to continuously like backtrack exactly the same path that you came from. All right, I'm not hitting anybody. Alright, hold on. Let me use this. Ow. There's so many. They also don't attack you all at the same time. Like, I feel like for the most part, they're respecting the one on one fight. I said good day. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, a trace. Mm. What is my parrying or, or my, uh, my targeting is so weird right now. Mm. There's another one, there's another one. Oh. Oh, this would be the perfect time to do the charge charge too. Yes. Oh, I didn't actually throw him into him, but still. Oh! 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 Let's go! Okay, OP, and I should be using them more often. Are you kidding me? That was like an instant R3. Not to mention it just sounded cool. <laughs> Up there. Go, go, go. Climb, boy. Oh, shit. Let's keep moving. I feel like music uh, during maybe like chase sequences or fighting can be so uh, looks over, and I don't know, it just goes with it so perfectly. This way. Get out of my face. I didn't get to block that one. Go over to R3 M, go over to R3 M. No. Get out of here. What? I did not mean to do that, but. Trying to throw this over here. 
All right, that guy, it's an instant R3 for them. Stomp on this. Uh, I need it. I need a Valkyrie. I feel like it's too easy right now and I need something. But they're not going to be, I mean, they would be Valkyries, but how would they be Valkyries? Keep pushing forward. Oh wait, pop that. Hmm. Oh, cheeky. I don't know where he is right now. I need to get them in my back. This is the shit I hate. Mm. Behind me. Oh. Dark Elf Summoner. I do need to read them in the codex. All right, go, go, go. That got a little hairy for a second. I just, if you get hit by the darkness, oh, I hate that. Oh, remember the Valkyrie from 2018 that could do that? Can we leave now, please? Almost there, this way. I think the queen also did that as well. <gasps> Look at this little, oh my goodness, this would be so cute for a pet, like to recreate this. Oh. I guess it was probably to hold some kind of resource. I suppose. But it'd be such like a cute cat bed. Mm. Even just the smallest thing. Open things. the gateway, please. Oh. I will respect that in one second. I think I came from this way, so I don't think we have to go back this way, but I just am gonna double double check. Like double triple check. Yeah. Okay, right, 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 right. okay. Hmm. Everything has such detail to it. Like a little fish jumping out of the water. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can mm. stomach. Grow a secret. But what's this new quest? Return to Sindri when ready. But what is this path? To the desert? Perhaps? We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. I don't know if there's a side quest per Look, se, but I know we can't trust prophecy. Vulture's but I'm not gone. Sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. Oh yeah. The vulture's gold. Look at the image too. In search of peace, the beast finds only war. Its last breath of life atop the sands. Its last metal of gold beneath the bones. Wow, a treasure map. Yes. Hey, let me look at the map real quick. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Okay then. Good. Yeah. <gasps> Lead the way. I miss these. I can't believe I'm saying that. We be able to reach the barons up top once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely dark yeah. elf territory. Okay. 
I love how Kratos is taking interest in things that matter to Atreus, though. You know? Like, he could have easily just been like, okay, we're going back. Don't have to explore this. Whatever's out there, it can fend for itself. <gasps> oh, but it's a good thing we did it because we need that bird. The pattern is so strange. Ready? Yoi! Uh, okay. It has the figure eight pattern. Between me and tears. Oh, stop. That was so close. Indeed, lad. The figure eight, figure eight. Oh, it's probably easiest right there. Or right here. I would say right here. Because we can see him start to come up. And he's swooping around, he's swooping around, he's swooping around. No. I would say when he comes around this rock. No, he's so fast right there. I don't like that. Right, he comes around the bend over here and then... I think right over here. I don't like when he does the swoop around. I think it's like almost like I'm picking the most, the, like the worst angles to shoot him at. Okay, this is not like skeet shooting. This is so much harder. This cat hair. I'm gonna have to take a break in a second to find it. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, it is. It always is. I don't think we found anything that I want to craft hey, yet. Travelers. Here we go. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You mm. know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. <laughs> Hive matter is... Stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. That's fair. Secret of the sands. Your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> Wait, when did we get? I didn't see when we even acquired a frozen flame. It must have been. Oh, it was when we killed the um, the light elf. It had to have been. Boy, I'm glad this axe is in your hands. That ain't bad. All right, I don't think I can level up anything there. Blades of chaos, pommels. I don't have any stone wood. No, is that honey? Oh, honed metal. Honey? <laughs> Any honed metal? Armor as well. Particular? <gasps> so we have Secret of the Sands. We've got two, actually. Find a way to reach the pained creature. We look for the creature that Atreus heard cry out in pain. The sandstorm makes navigation difficult. We should seek shelter. Well, I do kind of want to do I don't know. No, no. I would say track it. Because there's always the treasure map later, too. But the treasure map, can we actually track that? Yeah, we're tracking both of them. Yeah. All right. So we have both of them tracking. All right. He would not like a creature on his stuff. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alpha, oh. it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alpha? Yeah. Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to look that up later because I have no idea what it could... Whoa. We have a sled for the desert? Oh! Hold on, boy. Mm. I did not think the game could get any better. I need to stop saying that. Oh, you natural liker? Nope, that is definitely not it. But to go and sit in front of this marker that says unnatural. Oh, okay, unnatural. They're tied to a sled and completely calm. Strange. How long have they sat here? They're just as well behaved as Specky and Svana. Oh, Svana, I miss Svana. Hmm. 
What are these animals? Gulan. Gulan. Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. They're so cute. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated ghoul. Oh. Most unusual. Whoa. Look, that's a quick start. They are fast. Oh! Skirt, 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 skirt. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Hold on. Break the barrel. Break the barrel. Don't circle it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> These things are so hard to control. Hold on. Oh, or B to slow the sled. Okay. Brother, do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. <laughs> they would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? Probably. The blood. Oh. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Okay, if I know that they're approaching, I can... There we go. I can actually run them over. Oh. This is definitely the way to travel. In the desert. Are you kidding me? Here, I was thinking we were going to walk everywhere. Is that somewhere I can jump up on? No. Onward. Oh, it's so important to hit these things in the desert, too, because they're... Any particular direction I... to find your wounded animal? The bear. Or are you just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Yeah, there's so many good uh, deposits and stuff to gather here. Let's check out the map. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be sick. Up there with all this sand in your way. Mm. All right, so we can't come up here till later. Something's going to remove the sand. Probably the creature whenever we help it, I'd imagine. And did you see it? I think I saw this from up top. Remember when I pointed out that large creature or what I assumed was a creature? Huh. There's another one of those shards. I don't think we're getting through that gate in the storm. Hack silver. <gasps> Bird. Yeet. Bye bye. I think the next one is like 24, I want to say. But this is a good spot to rest, no? Yeah. This might be our cave that we should rest at. Oh, he looks so, like, sad. Okay, not sad, not sad, not sad. Don't take pity on him. That's a big boy. This guy. Focus this guy. Get him a trace. Push him up against the... Oh. I think the other guy is still alive. The other guy is still alive. That will do. Bonded leather. I think that's a new... I don't remember us having bonded leather before. What is that? Oh, there's an artifact. Also, we already have enough to do the, do our Rose Barton Rage, practically. It's so worth using that. I've been What's skimping that? it. A diagram. For a sword hilt? A sword hilt. Diagrams, uh, too? To one of the Wait, there's diagrams as well? Now this is giving me Witcher vibes. We found pages torn from an ancient tome. The pages contain diagrams of a long-forgotten sword hilt. If we can find the ingredients, I believe the dwarves can craft these relics once again. But one out of four. These pages are very old and could be anywhere. It is likely the relics outlined in these diagrams are very powerful. They'll know what to do with it. <laughs> um, forged iron. <clears throat> Even better. Oh, gauntlets of radiance. It's so mismatch. Slow down duration. Except that those are some sick gauntlets, but it doesn't match anything else I have. But they are significantly better than what I currently have. I look so funky. Uh, 
it's gonna kill me, but we'll fix the situation before we end today's recording session. I'll fix it. This is not the permanent. This is just because we're in the desert. We don't know what we're gonna encounter, okay? There could be a lot of scary things. I love the music here. here, too. You know what it reminds me of? Remember the desert in, was it three, when you have to go around and kill all the sirens? Was that two or three? The tower's purpose. Though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of the light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here? So inimical to our current status quo that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose? I can't help but assume the answer is the key to a lasting peace. The consul. The living desert. We already had read that one. Yeah, the Ibex. Ooh! Maybe we'll find an Ibex. Ah, uh, it's not a poem. But it is one of the horns that we've been collecting. I think that's a newer collection. Yep. Yeah, the newer collection. Because we have the... Dr oh, yeah, yeah. The tributes to Freya's brother. Freya. Freya. Not to be confused with the other horn. This piece symbolizes peace. Or at least Freya's hope for peace. It was said amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day he would blow the horn of quiet and in so doing bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. Hmm... Anytime there's like a desert and exploring and artifacts, it just feeds my little treasure hunter, uh, archaeologist hopes and dreams as a child. You know, when you're digging up in the sandbox thinking you'll find something. Watch out. Just want to make sure we go around to everything. Get the barrel, get the barrel! I bet you we hit it from this side. Too low. No. Just right. Crate. Circle round, circle round. I think the sand might be blocking our way here. That must be the creature over there. It's got to be. No, it's not blocking it. Hmm. So we see two and oh. Nice. They should all be around this. Oh, they're slowly following us too. But maybe the sand is stopping me from getting up higher. Hmm. There's one more brazzer. <gasps> raven, by the way. We'll go grab that raven in a second. Maybe there's one closer. Hmm. One has to be buried beneath the sand or... Up top? Yes, it is up top. But there's no way for me to be able to hit that. Oh, but if I use my axe and hit the... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hold on. Yeet! Oh. There we go. Uh, apple? Apple. Horn! Give me that rage. Give me that max rage. Let's go. And I forgot that it replenishes your rage as well, as it should, since it's going to increase it, period. Where are we at in the map right now? Okay, so we explored that and these, and now we'll circle around here. I don't know if it's as large as it initially appears. 
It looks pretty though with all the with all of the lit up. All right, what's going on here? Oh, the raven, by the way. What in the world? We'll hit the raven first. I wonder how many ravens are in this area. To the map. All right, so we killed the, or we got the Nornir chest. We have two more legendary chests, two more lores, and two more artifacts. Buried treasure as well. Three undeco uh, undiscovered and the secret of the sands. And we killed both of the Odin's ravens. Okay, so we don't have to worry about ravens anymore. Before I touch that, because I have no idea what's going to happen with that. Okay, let me go touch that first. And then once you... I think it's an, just an artifact. No, buried treasure? It's gotta be buried treasure. Stonewood and treasure map complete, vulture's gold. There we go. Dwarven sealed and honed metal. Is it, I think we need two honed metal to level up. Lethal detonation and an accessory for our boy. Boy. All right, so we now have three assigned. I'm glad they give us three slots. What does it do? Enemies killed with a runic arrow explode, dealing moderate damage around them. Nice. But any accessories we gather from here on out, we're going to have to be, you know, picky. Picky with. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Do not get up there, I swear. I Come down here. Get down here. It's dinner time. Just focus on this guy. Oh, let's do this. Nice. Oh, they're all done. Chilled. Enemies frozen. Nice. Oh, he's exploding. He's a uh, exploding boy. A little one? Oh. Oh! That was a sick juke, okay? I respect that. Alright, you. Oh. Oh. Ah, the poison. It's a four part finisher now. Was there a little guy or no? No. Yeah, now it's one, two, three. Oh no, it's still three. I thought that we added to it when we leveled something up for some reason. All right, that's where we came from. And there's a, uh, oh, that's one of the legendary chests up there as well. These runes. The desert of our ignorance. So much of who we are is lost. Oh God, that's deep, jeez. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for that. Not just this des desiccated Leviathan, nor its ilk, but the very identity of this creature is knowledge forgotten. Was it a predator? A wraith of the barons to be feared and avoided? Or perhaps a gentle behemoth, tamed by the pre-division elves and farmed for meat? The answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance. Our history remains buried beneath generations of dead elves. Should another manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve as a warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. The console. Feels like the land of the lost. Well, obviously not the Will Ferrell movie, but it's all like everything here seems long forgotten as it is. Despite creatures. <gasps> it's another poem. I wonder if there's a reference to Bloodborne in any of them. Belt of Radiance. Oh, okay. It 
definitely goes with well isn't the other one a radiance as well the wrist gauntlets a radiance okay kind of a big fan of this radiance going on here now the defense goes down significantly but as of right now it's killing me to wear this we're switching to this until i get at least another piece of the uh the raven's tears we'll keep with the radiance because that actually looks pretty clean and it oh you know what that means right we're gonna find the chess piece as well here so soon just refuse to pick a favorite poem that's uncharacteristically indecisive of you please I have a favorite poem already one from my homeland wait what is it what is it then um fingers crossed and is not a dual chest like you know like the full chest piece i'm hoping it's not actually like that Where's my artifact goals? Artifacts. Yes, the poems. Celestial construct. A mind expanding poetic experience constructed by who else but uh, why? Kvazer? Kvazer. Look around you, oh God, turn your head. Guide your metal friend with care, or else it be dead. Rescue its friends, experience tension, immerse yourself in a new dimension. I don't know what these, I don't know what half of these are. But you guys, like, also keep in mind that I have not played a lot of games. Like, I really have not played a lot of games. Steal and fur, unlikely friends. Hmm. That one, I feel like I recognize the... Automatrons, yeah. That I feel like I recognize just by the characters. Like, I know that the scribbles or like the little drawing is important to what it is a reference to, but I just haven't played enough games. I'm uneducated in PlayStation games. It might not just be PlayStation exclusives. I didn't think about that. I don't think I've been taking enough time to look at the cave drawings or carvings. <gasps> Hi guys, I wish you could pet them. Totally uncharacteristic to Kratos and there's no need to. Even the concept of having these creatures at our ready seems very strange. Let's stay. I want to stick to the side and make sure we discover the entire surrounding area. I also have a feeling that you don't have to explore it all in the storm. This is something, though. But this is... This looks like a Valkyrie thing, but all of this will be accessible after the windstorm passes. So let's go ahead and find the cave. As much as I want to look around, I think we do need to find the cave. What is this? Just a barrel in the sand. Uh, can I get closer? There's no way that's gonna hit all of them. No. I think you would need to have the high ground, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's not how we're going to strike it. It's the wrong angle. But it's blocked. Unless it's not, and I just suck at throwing that thing. We haven't seen any wounded creatures. Big or small. You know what it is? I bet you the sand will lower like we already knew when the sand lowers we should be able to get that angle sorry guys hold on <laughs> all right i'm finding the cave after we break this to the cave is it over there that looks Look, like a good spot there's a cave entrance. right to you goodbye Oh, nope, they're just getting in a better position. Hmm. <laughs> this cave extends underneath the desert. Wow. Is the creature within? 
Yeah. Sounds oh. Like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. The below. All right, I'll be right back. Let me check on Ginger. Hold up. Whew. Okay. Back to the desert. Did you like that? I didn't say all right, guys. <laughs> but in admitting so, I did so. No. Ah. Uh, I think it is so easy to get used to saying certain words in place of just silence. And you got to get comfortable with the silence. That. Batsy, Batsy, Batsy. Mm. The creature can't be all that big, right? I don't think. Mm. Oh. I knew it. Bash him. Bash him brains. I'm truly impressed by what is happening here. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's I did not think that they were going to put these together. That's so cool. Um, I am so impressed by the game not wrecking you with an abundance of enemies. And now that I'm thinking about it, does a harder difficulty mean that there's more enemies? Or that it's the same amount of enemies, just harder to fight? And they're stronger. Oi. Come back here. I should have actually. Oh damn it! I missed my opportunity to use the the backboard, the boomerang. Oh. Oh. I thought there was more to it than this. That. All right. Darkness. Darkness. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a lot of them. Slow time. Come back down here. See what happens. Rip his rip him apart. I must said rip his face off. You know, this game is bringing out the aggressive side of me. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened mm. the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? Well. Hmm. <laughs> But even the light elves, I mean, we technically assisted them and they still fought us. I think they're just fighting anybody. I think at this point they're angry at everyone with the situation at hand. Hmm. I'm not quite sure if it's possible to hit both of those without... Uh, it would have to be the right reflective... Mm. I saw a blue for a second there. Oh, it's... Uh, yeah. We need the high ground to be able to break this one. I've got the high ground now. <laughs> Do you see what I see? No? Oh, okay. Just a little bit forward, a little bit back. Nice. Uh, legendary chest. Oh, and a little scribble. Patience. Oh. You? Or a threat. Depends on the reader. 
I know my own weakness and patience is <laughs> patience is one of mine. Oh. That's weird. Hmm. Scrolls. Rune reads. Is it rune reads? Yes. Patience. <laughs> Found deep within a dark elf cave. They must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. A useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Patience. Is a virtue I do not have. I'm trying. I'm working on it. One to oh, I forgot to guess. What's happening in my map, by the way? An Ornir chest, a legendary chest, and one lore. So we already got one lore, so we need the... No near and a legendary chest. Hmm. There's something in the center. To me, it looks like a windmill, but I know that's wrong. Very old windmill. <laughs> Ancient times. I see a legendary chest. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is. It's in a lot, it's of, pain. In a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? <laughs> I'm curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I did miss the Nonir chest, but I think... Oh, I see it. <laughs> Hmm. I am pretty sure I'll be able to come back to the- yeah, the no nears right there. Okay, so... We actually- oh... Yeah. I have to get the right angle. Oh, perhaps from down here? Yes. Yes, yes. Oi. I'm walking here. Why is it so satisfying? Exploder, exploder! Okay, so we can finally open it up from this side once... Are you serious? I swear. They give no respect for the loot goblin. I'm out here trying my best. Okay, so we have our quick exit. There's gotta be one somewhere. We've got two right there. But with the speed that you have to fire them at, this has to be one that would be accessible from both angles, perhaps down. There. Clever girl. The only problem is there is no way. Can that? What's the reflection we're looking at here? Or. You know what? I don't think we can do it yet. I think we have to go further forward before we can actually do that. Yeah. I will try to be patient. I've never been this interested before. Mm. I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed. For yeah. both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want too. Mmm. Interesting. I think it's cool that Atreus is starting to ask his father more like of his opinions and how he's feeling and everything. Because I think before he didn't really question anything. Oh, is this a big boy? Oh. These are the dark elves that I hate. The ones that can... Yep, yep. Uh, that was totally blocked. 
He dodged that shit? Okay, kill the minions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember how to do ow. Mm. Finish him, finish him, finish him. What? I can't roll forward in that? I feel like you should be able to. Woo! You! I swan it. Oh, great. And now he has another boy. You know what? No, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Come here. <sighs> yeah. How do you like that? It's not fun when somebody's overpowered, is it? If you wish to abandon the future, we will leave. Well, huh? no. I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there... Mm. I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. Yeah? These aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistake. Getting involved when we should it. Oh, he's learning. I do feel like they both have, like, character progression. You know, like despite how much, I don't know, sometimes I feel like you could interpret Kratos as being a little bit more one-sided or stoic, but he really does progress, I think, as a character. I'm trying to think. There's got to be a way for me to hit it. Okay. No, we're working with a good amount of time. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Well, not like that. Nice. Wow. That is not bad. The apples look so good. He's good. <laughs> Two more apples. Huh. I wonder what percentage we are through the game. There's some more stuff over there, but I don't know if I should be crawling through here or if there's a different... Let me look at the map. Mm, okay, we're still in the below. We don't exactly have a map for the below. I think this is the only way to go. Oh, look at the light. Beautiful. Mm. Ooh, okay. For that, we're gonna have to get down below. Yeah, okay. And then I think get a pot. Oh, 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 hold on. We need the angle from over here to be able to hit it. Sorry, Atreus. Watch out as I almost hit your face. There we go. Is this the same area where we have... Oh, no. Wait, this counts as a... Interesting. Okay, we're back out in the desert, I guess. Yeah. This counts as the desert or the barrens. So this might be the last legendary chest. Mmm, rawhide. Oh! Wah, wah, wah. Hold on, I'm just trying to look at that one more time. Yeah, that wasn't a legendary chest. That's just a normal chest. There's one more lore and one more artifact. Even this rope looks so cool. It's honestly, I don't know if it's sad or amazing how like awestruck I get by games <laughs> like the littlest things make me happy and I don't know if it's necessarily like a good thing oh 
Yo, shit. Ah. Uh... Well, that actually, no, it grew back. Okay, not the right angle for that one. But we definitely have the right angle for this. Oh, this is going to be a wicked one. But it needs to hit all four. Oh, man. Okay. Mm, oh. Ooh. But that wouldn't hit anything exactly. Maybe we need to rotate. Oh, we won't be allowed to get close enough to rotate that one. I mean, it could be about angles, right? So maybe I just need to get a different angle? No. That's not a single one, right? Yeah, no. It's got to be the one right there. But... I can launch it up. <laughs> Maybe hitting this... Oh, obviously, it hit the other three. There we go. All right. <laughs> My brain's firing up. <laughs> I'd be so easy to, like, entrap with the way that I play. I just... I don't check the surroundings at all. I don't clear the area. We just beeline for the treasure. <laughs> Ah, loot. I'm like the kid. Like Hansel and Gretel with the candy. Okay. So with that in mind, we need to rotate this one around. One more time. So, this should bounce... Oh no, it wouldn't bounce off of that. But could we bounce this off of... No... It takes two to make a thing go right. All right, so we know that hits both of those, so we just have to work on getting that one hit. I need it to be right there. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's maybe use it right here. No. Oh, look at the way that it's, like, launching off in the side. Maybe if I do it from over here? Angles. How do they work? See, that's too far over. That's the only problem. But the top one. So maybe right here. No. But perhaps this one's to help the other one. Like the other side, you know? How did I miss? There we go. So those guys, right? Because we need to... Yikes. I need this one to be at an angle. Look there. That bomb could help us out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the bomb. Thank you, Atreus. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elf? We are mm. down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. <sighs> why do you care so much? Because you're my son. Is there something you're not telling me? No. No. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, so we've got these two from over there. But we still need to hit this one right here. That one's launching straight across. There we go. Nicely done. And this should give us, I think this will give us the angle we need to hit those. Yes. It will actually reflect off the side now instead of just launching straight back. I forgot to guess. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Okay, never mind. Hold on. 
Is there one more that I'm missing? Oh, it didn't hit the second one, right? It was like just off. Dun, 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 dun. Ow. Oh. Jeez, what was that? It's funny, I feel like they die so quickly that it doesn't even process. Like, it tries to show you that you can R3 it, but <laughs> there's nothing left, like, because they die so easily. That looks like it hurts. Yeah, it does hurt, okay? It is hurting. I need you to take the nightmares out. I need some health packs. A medic! I need a medic! This is... Not good. None of them dropped anything? Do I have to freeze this? Oh, it's a, it's a hive. Oh, we've never seen a nightmare hive. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I like the animal hides. Or hives. It reminds me so much. I mean, like, again, my biggest thing is drawing and or like drawing similarities of other games I'm playing in the current moment. And since I'm playing Witcher 3 right now, found it. Uh, what is it? Hey, a luminescent. Ghost. That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. Half goof. It's not just in pain, it's trying to sing. It's the mm. song of the sands. They don't normally what? sing like this underground. <laughs> Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. Lunch. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener. So, Lunch? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. I liked it. I like sure. Oh, well. Breakfast. <laughs> The next one's Breek Feast. Ha. <laughs> I honestly thought it was good. Gotta be a way to clear those rocks. I'm working on it, son. Hmm. Deaner. Okay. I need to get a pyre or something. Oh, but I can't. Oh. I see. Do you see what I see? There we go. Demolition. EOD. Okay, so we hit this. Oh. Actually, really shocked that that worked. Um. Hmm. This wouldn't cause it. We need to get it to reflect off of this one, but maybe hitting this angle? Oh, we are slightly closer. It could give us the right angle now. Yeah. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Uh. Much of the hive matter is gone. Ow, we sorry, sorry. Now. Open the hive cage on the surface. This is such a cool quest. Hmm. Why did they trap it down here? half are known to burrow. Iron. So I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. Mm. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. Oh. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved. Hmm. Oh, up. <laughs> what a freaking badass. Can we just take a second to appreciate he just burst through a ceiling? <laughs> yep. There are some more artifacts, though. I do feel like in each realm we're going to, we are freeing a creature enslaved as of right now. Whispering Slab. 
But it, I think that might be the first time we've gotten a whispering slab. <gasps> what? Look at the snow and just the shimmers of it falling. <gasps> It must have been from the light, because it went away after we cleared that area. All right, so to free the creature, yes, we need to go... Hmm... Right there, right? We do need to get to the other chest, though. But after he gets up, I'm sure it will clear the sand, and then a lot of more things will be open to us. Slag deposits. This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Ah, the lunch, the dinner. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this really cool jellyfish. It flies. Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. It's a half goofa, of course. I'm much happier now. And hey. The storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Hmm. Look, father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok. Ah. This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just <sighs> wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can? Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. You guys know that I'm like a sucker for, I guess, like parental relationships being shown in games. Like anytime, like Walking Dead, anything, it doesn't even have to be blood, right? It's just that relationship is so precious in some of these games, the way that they capture it. And the fact that, I don't know, knowing where he's come from and how much it destroyed him the first time around to see him trying to correct his own wrongs in his past. Travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places, find out more about myself. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I know, and I've kind of talked about this before. I think it can easily come across like I'm romanticizing, um, maybe not romanticizing Kratos per se, but I by no There's means am for. I'm not sure I quite understand. Oh, hold on. And the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows. All the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What mm. difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. Oh. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Yes. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead their... to tragically incorrect ah. interpretations. Yeah. Back in my homeland. I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. Hold. What is that? Huh. Um, yeah, I by no means have forgotten everything he's done. Um, but I am obsessed with seeing character progression and growth. I think that it can be really hard to capture one's own growth. And just as the series has gone on and with Dewey in 2018, they've allowed Kratos to be so much more than even he was in the originals, which he already had um, character growth in the originals, but I just feel like it's prevalent in these. Yeah. Golan Cole. Also, we need to read up on uh, lunch. Thanks to the opposition's grotesque hypocrisy, Alfheim's Golan are a threat to our livelihood. Though I have culled many on the surface, there are undoubtedly more down below in the Dark Elves' hovels. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair at the desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of these foul beasts. Let them remain. 
They will serve as useful subjects for further light infusion, experimentation. The maven? They were using the golems as experimentation. I think that fell under one of our friends. The half gula, half goofa, half goof. We have discovered the source of the sandstorm in the Barrens was a creature Mimir called a half goofa. I encountered something like this as a boy. Really? But it was a much smaller sea creature that did not fly. Oh, he's talking about a jellyfish. Now that storm has subsided, we can explore the desert freely and collect resources. To the west, we can see another sandstorm, likely caused by another half goofa. We should ease this creature's pain when the time is right. Wait, there's another one. So I can do multiple? Or no, I think that's more or less just saying that, you know, when they had the time, they would go forth to other ones. I don't know, actually, look. There does appear to be a, some sort of entrance to another desert, so maybe we can. Hmm. Not quite sure what this is. If I had to guess, it looks an awful lot like the Valkyrie, like a Queen Valkyrie fighting oh, arena. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Mm. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Hmm. I prefer the poem. I feel like we need to get to the top of that. But it doesn't look like there's a way to climb it. There's no way that I can tear it down from right there. As I recall, I was about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and mm. fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Enough. We will continue later. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> uh, there, maybe there's a reflective surface? I mean, the further back I get, it's not helping, but even being close up, it's not gonna work. Like, there's no way. There's not a reflective source that I can... I just feel like you would be able to climb it. Or where are we specifically? No, I don't think you can get up any higher. No. Oh my goodness, I keep sitting crisscross applesauce and it is wrecking my knees. And it's so hard for me to break that habit. There's not a reflective surface. This is driving me insane. Oh, I'm so goofy. I forgot about my axe. Okay, I forgot about how it returns wherever my axe is. So this isn't a matter of hitting it on the first go. This is getting it to come back. Mm, it's so close. Down a little. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. God, that looks so right. There we go. It's always an overcomplication on my part. The man, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? Which one is that? Okay. We already tried. There were issues with viscera. <laughs> uh, and there was a brief bit that I thought I might get used to it. He did not. We oh. tried. I've never thought about actually changing the position on where he is with a tra <laughs> with Kratos. That's funny. Uh, where was our? My about the heat is that the cave right there? The a prophecy of his ascension to king. Old. That was later. Sorry, I know you keep trying to tell me this story, and I know it's important. 
I just am trying to get some loot here. There. Yes, we can go to the other side of the Baron. And what is this? Mm, this was probably blocked by the sand and the first spot. Remember there was a spot that was blocked by the sand at the beginning. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. Oh, do you? I'm sorry, I try to hit this really quickly so I don't have to like go through the menu to find it. A miniature harp, unplayable, of course. Likely meant to reflect Freyr Freyr's musical skill. It's said that with a stringed instrument in his hand and a song on his lips, there was nothing he couldn't accomplish. No virgin too chaste, chaste. no warrior too wrathful. I'd like to imagine Freyr was smart enough to not resort to song and dance when it came to brokering a peace between the elves. That's what I'd like to imagine anyway. <laughs> I would prefer it remain that way. <laughs> oh man. Now let's see. If I had to guess. Yep, okay, so we just need to move a little bit over here and ready, call it back. What? That's so close. Maybe give it like a second more. Maybe like right in front of it, stand right in front of it when I call it back. I don't know how much better I can get at this. You, sir, are bullshit. Back a little. It's because it's kind of coming up, so maybe. Maybe stand back even further. Watch out, Atreus. Huh. I don't think I can get any better than right there. Look at it. Watch it come through. Okay, this is the spot. It's now more about when I recall my axe. There we go. I think it was recalling the axe just a second too soon. Like a second, a wee bit <gasps> of affliction. Wait, okay, so, oh, now that looks beautiful. Okay, so this was cooldown and defense, but this keeps the cooldown, adds runic and defense. Hell yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Wait, what armor? What? When did I get the Radiance armor? I completely missed that. I was not present when we got that. Uh, okay. Very, like, flashy. And maybe a little, I don't know, kind of flashy for Kratos. I feel like he does more with, like, muted colors, but... It's spectacular. It's very... I don't know. I think it actually looks really sick. It's got the rainbow effect going on too. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Mmm. Mmm. I would say we go back to the initial spot. Come here. Oh. You said souls come in four parts. Yes. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, mind direction, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. But Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My ha. success does not come from luck. Ooh. Ah, the ah. of the eternally lucky. That's funny. Um, I don't know if I'd agree with that statement about Kratos. I mean, there were a lot of things in the originals that. Like every time he got to hell, every time he got to hell, it just like, oh, 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 I know I'm on fire. I'm going to die. Holy snap peas. Holy snap peas. Holy snap peas. I have nothing to my name. Uh, Kratos, I'm gonna need you to carry me here. Woo! I need to get my rage meter back. 
or something. Oh, 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 no. I got greedy. I got greedy. I have a resurrection stone. Let's go. Let's go. I got so greedy. I've sprinted for it. I shouldn't have. All right, pop this, pop this, pop this, pop this, pop this. All right, break that, kill this guy. Okay, it's game time. Hmm. He's wild. Ow. I'm on fire. Mm. That's bullshit. I was getting mine off right now. Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Whatever. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We'll see. One too angry. Uh dust of the realms. We have three dust, by the way. Wait. Not dust. We have three of the chaos sparks. So we need three more and then we can get a chaos flame. I love the way that they do that though. And then it um, turns to ash essentially. All right. <laughs> it was uh, not fun. What was I getting at though? I thought that we still haven't found heavy runic attacks by the way. Really? I find that so hard to believe. We need to get another um, stone. Undiscovered. Yeah, we need to get two more stone. Oh, I'm trying to think. Three more chaos sparks, and then there was two more of something. Amir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphine. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle? A Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Aww. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. All dogs Mother's go to heaven. Yes. Like your mothers. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. Oh yeah. There's another storm out that way. I think that means Oh yeah. Half Gufar. Oh. I'm surprised that they make it like a two-part mission. It's not just one, you know? I guess I would have assumed this would have been a one, a one time. Oh, but maybe they're friends and maybe you free the other one and then they, they roam the desert together. Yeah, that's lined up. That's good. Sometimes I do believe it's just faster to walk yeah maybe they're like best friends or buddies and we gotta free their their best friend or their mate i do think that concludes this desert though yep three out of three ah oh, we got everything there are two undiscovers undiscovered Hmm. There's the shield holding up black. Good. Whee! I always knew Sinji was a great blacksmith. But oh, magical shield. the Valkyrie is one just of the undiscovered. Natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. It's on the other side, right? Hold on. No, it's just behind us. Although, I can't figure out if that- is that the Valkyrie area? Wherever the gate is. Oh, those are the canyons. Yes. Yes. They're talking about right here, right? There we go. Track that. Mm-hmm. Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Let this wait. Stay alert. Yeah, I don't Oh, okay. I was like, are we about to be able to do it? There's no way. 
But how? Where is it trying to take us? The quest, the active goal that I have. Return to Sentry when you're ready, but there's one more. And aren't they telling me to free the other one? Or are they talking about somewhere else entirely? I assumed they were talking about this. Yeah, you can even see the, you can see it spiraling. But maybe we won't be able to open that area until we... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to go to that dust storm or the sandstorm until we clear that path. So I think this is the end of our journey in the desert. Unfortunately. All right, we will come back and we'll help free your lost soul. Returning to my anecdote about the heat Return. witches. They fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own... Damn. Roof. Murders many he once called friends, too. Hmm. Thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, Fear. for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all uh -huh. physical or magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they blood go. Bloodbath. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories he, down. Yeah, he here. needs a book. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. No. Oh. I think the mirror can be easily um underappreciated if you're not giving him the time of day. At your service. I like to listen to him when I can. So here's the relic that we found. But Skirner's gam gambitine? Known as the stream of anguish. The broken sword hilt of Frith Frith Frithioth is said to burn brightest in wartime. Oh, slash forward three waves of light that deal. Oh, that would be insane. But we can't. Ah, where am I supposed to get that? And Atreus? Atreus is good. Boy. But I do need to craft a new stone because that did help us out. Going back to armor. You need, I'll create. So we need Dwarven Steel to upgrade the Radiant Straps. <gasps> Wait, you know where we need to go, right? Mm, I'm really happy with the armor that we have. I think this is a cool set. Okay, we can upgrade the Gauntlets of Radiance. Hold on. Before we upgrade anything... No need to thank me. <laughs> before we upgrade anything, what I would like to do... Oh, first and foremost is go to the Ravens. To the ravens we should get either braziers or maybe a chess piece i don't know i'd imagine i feel like their gifts would get better eyes of odin quest available oh in nil time yeah 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 i was gonna go the wrong way okay so raven tree redeem our redeem the one reward. We should have one reward. Right. Forgot about the world tree. For a second. Just for a second. <laughs> Nilfheim is so cool. Just creepy cool. Like you don't know why you're drawn to it, but you keep coming back. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father. Swung from the tree. Swung what from the tree. What that means? Swung from the tree. The brazers. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Free. Well. We have Odin's control anyway. Yeah, but I wonder if any of the things that they're telling us is important for Ragnarok. Like they do speak in riddles. <laughs> Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. 
Either your life's all written down somewhere or Wording. <laughs> still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. That should be one of Mimir's. That definitely should be one of Mimir's stories. So, new wrists. So that means that the, I believe the chest piece will come next. And that requires four more ravens. I would dare to say that you can almost track how far in the game you are based off of how many ravens you've collected if you're trying to collect all the ravens in every single area which i've done to this point i think i have killed every single raven but actually let's go back and check that out the raven tears oh wait i don't like the way that my like look like i have little like i don't know i'm not liking how you can't see my hands but i guess that is better in terms of defense it definitely looks like it's more defensive but the radiance. I feel like the Raven tears are going to end up looking like too much like a superhero. Not like the raw materials of his normal armor, you know, like the iron and the steel, which I get that it's a whole. I mean, I'm tracking. It's almost like an ethereal style armor. Let's see it with our with our waist armor. Yeah. Honestly, now that we found the radiance, I don't I don't know how I feel about the ravens anymore. I was so dead set on it, but I'll wait. I'll hold my judgment until we see the chest armor. I swear though, if it is a full chest coverage, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> All right, let's keep that one on. That was already on. It's the waist. Belt of radiance. And then let me go to the map. Wait. Eyes of Odin. There's actually one here. Legendary chest. Wait, what? This is the Eyes of Odin tree. The Mystic Gateway and then the arena. So you would get chests from... Oh, oh, wait. The chests are the chests. But... Oh, no, 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 no. There's a raven somewhere in there. Like a sneaky little raven. Do you think it's the one flying? I would imagine it's on the tree, no? Or do you think it's in the arena? Hmm. Maybe that's like a hidden one. Cause only one of them. Yeah, only one's flying. What do you think? Unless you see any green. But I don't see any green. I just see one flying. There he is. How am I supposed to hit that, though? I need to see how he flies. What's his pattern? Where'd he go? Hold on. He flies. He's up so high, though. Hmm. I would reckon maybe right here is, like, the best. No. Uh, yeah, I, I can't aim it at those. I, I think I can, in fact, aim it at that one, though. That's just, that's so hard. I need to test this. I need to test this. I reckon it'd be easiest right there, but he's so far out there in the sky. Okay, when he goes right here. What? <laughs> There's no way. But sure as shit, right? We're seeing eyes of the eyes of Odin zero out of one. All right, he's going to come. He's going to come. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know. Not too sure about this one. Do you think it's possible? Because you don't actually even get an indication that you can fire at him. I know, I'm looking up to a trace. <laughs> Yeet. 
How? See, I can't go up any higher. The closest he gets is like right there. So maybe I can try to hit him from right here. I'm either wasting all my time. I think I might just be wasting a bunch of time. But why else would one be circling? Oh, but I can't fire in that direction. No. The raven's probably somewhere completely different. Don't, if you guys know if that's the right one or not, and if it's possible, don't tell me. Because I'm going to try to figure it out next time. I don't know. We'll see. I think if you get to the very end and you've cleared the entire area and there's no other ravens, that's got to be the hidden raven, right? I mean, why else would it show one right there? Unless I'm, maybe I'm thinking about it wrong. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about this, but okay. That's a good one. I think that's like almost a two hour episode. So I think this is a good place to stop. Um, we did all of our side quests in Alfheim as well that we can access right now. Obviously, when we are able to do whatever that floating shattered, what I'm assuming our Valky Valkyrie challenges are, whenever we're able to do that, we'll go back and we'll free the other um, lunch. <laughs> so we'll go back and free the other one when we can other than that we will go back to Sindri's and continue on and see what our next step is because Tyr does not appear like he wants to help us and wants any part in this prophecy so I think currently it feels like we're in a standstill but I think something is gonna happen that will change Tyr's mind I think when it comes to it while he might not be the first to strike or bear arms he might be more reactive when he starts seeing the destruction of that Odin causes possibly I don't know we'll see <laughs> guys I hope y'all enjoyed this episode I feel like we got a lot done we finished Alfheim we got to see the new prophecy which was incredible I love those sequences and then on top of that we got to do the side quest so with that I will see you guys in the next video thank you for your time truly I appreciate it so much and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye YouTube I don't need mead when I have an energy drink, okay?